a version of a Dobson fly. I got a maroon a rabbit strip dubbing. Uh, I've already ran my thread back uh, past the shank of the hook. So you're just kind of tying your dubbing. Um, any dubbing works. I just use a uh, rabbit strip because I have I dye all my own rabbit strips. So um, work it forward. I spin it on there. I, I like it thick. So and you make your some tight wraps. That way it really cinches it down. You're going to go uh, halfway up, uh, work your way back a little bit, and then I just take off what dubbing I, I'm not going to use uh, right now, but save it because you're going to use it later. And I go ahead and pull everything back and uh, really tie it off. And then, uh, I got, um, gray, uh, feather, small, and about the size of your thumbnail. And then, uh, you're going to take your soft text, and you're going to go ahead and coat the top of the fly with the soft X you're going to use two feathers but right now we're going to tie this one in you just going to tie it right where you Tied down your dubbing. You can pull it off to the side a little bit so it, it spaces your your wings. Where I call it. That's what they're meant to be. So go ahead and take another one. Measure out about about the size of your thumbnail. And then just go ahead and rip off your extra. That way you got something to tie in on. And then just go ahead and coat coat this feather too. If you coated that one, go ahead and tie it in. Just make a V at the back so it looks like spaced wings. Go ahead and tie it all the way in and work your way back to it. Take that dub the dubbing that you didn't use and uh, put it on your thread and go ahead and dub it in. You want to go almost all the way up, work back a little bit, take off that dubbing. Because what you're going to do now is, is uh, I tie it in variation of colors. Um, I'm going to use a burnt orange hackle feather for this one. I also tie it in uh, completely gray and. Um, black and this is a, the maroon with the burnt orange hackle feather I am pretty good I usually 
leave a longer tag so I can go ahead and tie it into. That way you get a real good base down for it. And what you're going to do is you're going to tie it in backwards. Go ahead and work almost back all the way to where you're about halfway down what du the dubbing and then you work yourself back to the eye of the hook. Um, I want to use the smaller parts of the feather but uh, it's all trial and error. Um, go ahead and tie in your your hackle feather, a couple nice wraps, and then um, pull what you can back from the eye of your hook. Snip it. back put a decent head on there I usually do if you want to do whip finish or whatever I do a couple half hitches because it's fast and if I'm tying a lot of flies um, fill out my box and I usually throw in about three or three or four half hitches Go ahead and snip it. Take your soft text again. Pull it back and right where you snipped it, put your soft text down. Just coat your thread. There you go.